My name is Frederick Colburn Anderson and I head up the Offshore Renewables Division at Clarkson Plateau. Our market is very interesting. It's something that originated in 2001 in Denmark. It's a brand new industry as such in the offshore, or offshore industry and in the shipping industry in general. It's uh, about installing huge offshore wind turbines far out at sea to generate electricity, mainly in Europe, in the North Sea, but it's also expanding into uh, Asia and the US East Coast, which is the new frontier areas. Our department, or let's say the, the industry as such, has by many been foreseen or portrayed, I would say, as a call it tree hugger industry. It sounds a bit funny, but it's about uh, generating clean power to the world. This industry uses some very special vessels. Let's start on the top, let's say the, 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 the vessel that is the most complex. It's a jack up vessel with a big crane. Basically it has to jack up uh, far out of the water to install two, 300 ton turbines, 80 to 120 meters up in the air. So that is a niche vessel. Very few of them made in the world. It's not like an oil and gas drilling rig with a, a drilling tower. So it's a, it's a different animal altogether. Then we get the turbine up and running. Then you have to cable everything. You need to get the power out of the turbine into land. There's your cable a vessel. They're more or less like a standard offshore support vessel, but with a huge turntable to transport and lay the cables. And then we have an interesting niche, which is accommodation vessels. You need people out into the field. You may run them up with CTVs, which are small crew transport vessels. There's 300 of them operating in the North Sea today. They're tiny, but they're a very important part of the industry. What has developed lately is TP2 vessels with uh, gangways. This is where, let's say, the Scandinavian industry uh, has a strength. They operate uh, the standard offshore vessels, but with a heave compensated gangway to get people across to the turbine. So that is, let's say, the main brunt of the fleet. There are, of course, other vessels, transportation vessels, barges, tugs. That's the main overview of the fleet needed. We're kind of a hub and we're, we want to use all the best parts of this big, great company to create a, let's say, a, a renewable space which the clients can get all the products they need. So, you know, it could be towage division. They need to tow barges with huge uh, foundations on it. Well, we just tap into them. Yes, we have that, towage. We have securities. Yes, we have everything. So that's kind of where we are at the moment as a, a hub in this greater system, trying to understand what everybody can offer into this.